All right, now this is very, very special. The owner, uh, part owner of the Staten Island Ferry Hawks, a man who I described earlier in our conversation as the George Steinbrenner, he's got a huge heart of the Ferry Hawks, is also the owner of our radio station, WABC, and Gristidis and D'Agostinos and oil companies and all kinds of stuff. He's uh, the great John Katz Matidis. Now, I may have put words in your mouth when I said, year four next year, if we don't win, there'll be a fourth guy in well, that chair. Well, I, I, me and Eric. <laughs> Eric is our partner, and, uh, and, and the Yankees are our partner. Randy Levine. And uh, uh, we promised Staten Island. We promised New York City. The pennant for the Atlantic League, right? And I, we cannot be disappointed. We will, uh, we will provide all the bullets at your disposal, or all the the, the Rocky Colavito bats, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and we got to hit it out of the park. And and I promise, uh, whoever hits it out of the park, all the way to to to, to the water, a ten thousand dollar bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the one thing about John is. <laughs> He will reward you when, when, when the team does well. And I will say this, John, in talking to our new skipper, and he can tell you himself right now, unlike the last two guys who had great major league experience, Alfonso and Bush, this young man here they were has both, won. They were both very nice people. Great guys. Very nice people. But, but he's won as a manager in this league. That bodes well for him. Tell him what you've done. Yeah, no, this will be my fourth season with four teams. I've had three expansion teams. And, you know, coming into this year, we're – we're set to go. It's it's going to be an exciting year, and we're here to win. We're here to win for New York. We're here to win for the Yankees. We're here to win for Staten Island. We're here to win for all New York City. And uh, New York City deserves a pennant. It's funny you say that because, and you just can't, you're coming from Phoenix. You don't know the city all that well yet, but we've got some issues. Don't don't confuse a lot the of issues. issues. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot. It's still the greatest city in the world. You'll you'll learn that very very quickly. But we've got a lot of issues, and that's what we talk about every day. Me and John, both very highly rated shows, by the way, uh, in New York every day. So a winning baseball team, you know this, John, actually does. It's, it serves as a it, cure all. New Yorkers love baseball. Uh, you know, we don't have a football teams anymore. You know why? They're really the New Jersey Jets. Uh, yes. They're really the New Jersey Giants. That's true. Okay? Unless you go to we, Buffalo. We got the Yankees, <laughs> and we got the Ferry Hawks, and that's what counts. Now, uh, you were a Yankee fan as a kid, right? When you came here from I Greece? I love the Yankees. My, my, my grandfather, I was about 12 years old, took me to my first game, and we sat in the upper, upper, upper uh, deck. And uh, I remember Mickey Mantle coming to bat. Wow. And, uh, I could still name the uh, the team: Moose Garin on first base, <laughs> yeah. Tony Kubek on second. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Bobby Richardson on second. Tony Kubek shortstop. Cleet Boyer on on third base, and and Roger Maris, uh, Mickey Mantle playing wow. center field. And uh, depending on what day of the week it was, Hector Lopez in right field. Very good. That's a hard one. Yeah. That's a hard one. And uh, once in a while, you know, in, in catches, we had uh, Johnny Blanchard. We had uh, Yogi Berra. We had Elston Howard. We had pitchers, uh, Whitey Ford and uh, uh, Tony uh, uh, no, and, uh, what's Mel his, Stoudemire, I think. Mel Stoudemire. Yeah. No, we, we, who was the guy with the no-hitter? Uh, Don Larson. Don Larson, yeah, 56. Don Larson. Yeah, perfect game, actually. So the can you put the, have can been you the put best. A, can you put the Staten Island Ferry Hawk team together like that? <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> we need, you, know, you know what we need? We, we, we need, uh, you're, you're going to have to make the decision on great players. And uh, uh, we, last year we had a Japanese player <laughs> played uh, like for two weeks or three weeks and uh, what was the name of the uh, Eric? Who was the name of the Japanese player? Yoshi Tsugo. Who and and the Giants we won. Stole. We won like eleven out of twelve games in 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 those in those two weeks. He hit it out of the park every time. The great thing about the league too, guys have a lot of success. They get opportunities. Uh, you know, Yoshi was in big league camp this year with the Giants. Uh, you know, we wish him well over there. If there's an opportunity for him to come back, we'd love him in our lineup too. <laughs> Well, he was a great player. What do you think, Eric? He was a beast. We had him and this kid from Rutgers, and 
we couldn't lose for two weeks. It was a glorious two weeks. The problem with the minor league teams is the major leagues have the right to pluck them out any time they want. <laughs> right, right. And, right. you know, I tried to put in their contract. Eric says you couldn't do it. Randy Levine from the Yankees said you couldn't do it. Yeah, a 30 day delay. <laughs> That's funny. So, so one last Don't question. Don't I deserve 30 day delay? I mean, I can get 30 days in. Of course. Go. So, one last question for John and, and me and Eric. When you go out there trying to recruit these guys, how do you find out all the information about them? You have scouts. How does that work? Yeah, I work with uh, a bunch of the major league organizations, the player directors of organizations. I talk to to scouts. I talk to agents. I go through, uh, you know, the new thing is these these big pitching academies that that train guys. So I use every resource I can uh, to recruit these guys, to attract these guys here and and that's what we do. We're trying to find the best talent out there. We already have some guys locked in right now or some of the, the best players that are available in the market, and we have a couple more in the in the next couple of weeks as Major League season starts. Minor League seasons are about to begin. Yeah. Once those rosters are finalized, we'll have a, a couple more bigger-name guys coming to Staten Island this year. Well, for me, I'm most excited this year that I've been the last three. What about you? What's your last well, we're, words? We're, we're, we're trying to convince Mariano Rivera to come pitch a game for us. Yes. Why not? Would you use Let's him? do it. Absolutely. <laughs> he closed for Ninth you? inning. He's in. <laughs> I'm sure you could have good Easiest start. decision I'll ever make. You know how many games we lost last year in the ninth inning? How That's, many, Eric? I don't know, but I'm texting John every – because during the games, John and I text a lot. Yeah. And I'm like, it's we're the eighth inning, ninth nothing. inning. I'm like – In the eighth inning. We're winning 11 nothing. He says to me, we lost the game. Yeah, no, I got those texts too. He's like, who put that guy in the game? Who put the closer in the game? I know. Good Ian Rivera. We have let's a lot, go. We Rivera. Have a lot of lockdown we have closer a lot for of us. Saturday, we, get him there. we have a lot of Monday morning quarterbacks. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but I think the good news is uh, that, uh, again, unlike the last two guys, who were great guys and great players, you've had a lot of success in this position. And I think you're going to do great things for Staten Island this year. John believes in you. Eric believes in you. I believe in you. Now go prove us right. Let's get a championship. Play ball. All right. <laughs>